you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lisa Fua. I'm from DK Hostmaster. Uh, I'm the COO of DK, uh, DK Hostmaster and Defo. I hope this is working because it doesn't seem to change. But I can sing and dance if you want that instead. <laughs> Hey, that's a good one, yeah. Well, um, maybe we should uh, turn my screen and I can, oh, that, that one is fine. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, in Denmark, we have the Danish Internet for Forum. And the Danish Internet Forum is an association that represents the um, private users, the professional users, and the providers. This is our uh, multi-stakeholder part of, uh, of uh, the domain industry in Denmark, of .dk. DIFO is founded in 1999. Uh, it's a non-profit association. We, uh, our members has to be uh, organizations, so no private companies, no private persons can be a member. You have to be like you have uh, the consumer organizations, we have the registrar organizations. So we have different uh, members, and it's free to be a member. DFO owns a DK Hostmaster by 100%, and the focus of DFO is on strategy, policy, and governance issues. So DFO is uh, the, the organization that goes out and have the international part of um, of .dk work. Um, we have uh, 15 member organizations, and uh, our board has uh, nine members, and they have to represent uh, all three uh, kinds of members. And you have to say, I'm a, a representing the private users, or the uh, professional users, or providers. Um, Defo, in Denmark, we are regulated, so we have a, a contract with the Danish Business Authority um, regarding the administration of .dk. The, as you can see, the contract runs from uh, this year, June, until uh, June 2021. Normally, uh, we had a, a tender every six years. Now we have instead. Um, uh, we have to have a, a, a public consultation uh, if DFO and DK Hostmaster are doing the work uh, well enough. And if we do, there's not going to be a tender. If people are very dissatisfied, there will be a tender. We uh, had before uh, an actual agreement with the Danish Business Authority. That's been changed to an executive order. And that means that they can change the conditions if uh, the market change, if you want new technology introduced or other things. Well, uh, DK Hostmaster is the operational part. And that's also a not-for-profit company. It has the operational focus. We are not that many people. We are 35 employees. This is a sole registry model. The sole registry model means that you as a registrar would register a domain name with .dk, um, but after the second year, we will send the invoice to the registrant, unless the registrant said that they want you to be the payer or to be uh, taking care of their domain name. So we hold the contract with the actual registrant and, of course, with registrars. Um, well, DK Hostmasters in numbers. We have 1.32 uh, million domain names. I checked it yesterday. And um, usually we say we have almost 1.3. Now we have 1.32. Uh, we have uh, 68,000 IDNs. We have more than 700,000 unique user IDs. And our market share is, according to Center, 73.4% uh, of the market. If you uh, look at the numbers of uh, domain names compared with uh, per capita, we're number four uh, 
in the CCTLD world. As you can see, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and the Netherlands have more uh, domain names per capita than we have. But we actually have a very good share of domain names per capita in Denmark. A domain name in Denmark is quite cheap. It costs uh, 36 uh, Danish kroner, or almost five euros uh, a year. And this is a price that we charge the registrar for year one, and we charge the registrant from year two, three, and onwards. You can only have a discount if you choose five years, then you pay only for four years. What kind of registrants do we have? We actually publish uh, this every year, but um, as you can see, we have uh, 400,000 uh, who are private persons, 265 is uh, companies, association is 27,000, public authorities are uh, almost 8,000, and we also have a, a large amount that didn't list uh, where they belonged. This is because the uh, database is old, of course. So before we uh, made it uh, mandatory to uh, list where you belonged, we had a lot of people uh, registering domain names without saying what type they are. Um, if we look at the registrars, we have a top nine. I didn't get a top 10. This is not listed uh, according to who has the most, this is just listed alphabetically. So uh, these are our top uh, of the registrars. And if we look at our market shares, well, um, we published last year that we had 74.3%. It's a little more than um, a center, uh, uh, actually measured. But I don't know if it, ours is an estimate, centers is an estimate, so I put in the numbers that we published last year. And if you see, 5% comes from the, the Nordic countries, and Denmark.se, N-O-F-I-I-S, and G-L. G-L is uh, Greenland. And 3.5 uh, comes from uh, .eu. And then we have other uh, CCTLDs that actually have 3.3. .com is not very big in Denmark. It's got uh, 8.6, but uh, I don't think that's uh, a large amount when you think about .com globally. We have 1.1.org, uh, and the rest, other uh, GTLD, uh, GTLDs are 1.3. So. Uh, uh, totally, uh, we're very satisfied with the numbers we have in Denmark. We think the market is quite saturated because we see uh, a growth of a little below 3% a year. We still have a growth. We thought it would actually decline. It hasn't. It's been steady uh, around 3% the last couple of years. Every year we think, oh, now we hit the the line where there's no more uh, growth, but we still have a growth. So for us at the moment, uh, and I know we're going to talk about new GTLDs, we haven't seen that much uh, of impact. We're waiting uh, to see if the next coming uh, couple of years is going to impact uh, our CCTLD, but so far, We've only seen that the growth has continued uh, in contradiction to our actual tho uh, thoughts of what it would do. And with that, I will say thank you for listening. And I put in questions, but I know we're going to have uh, the panel debate, so I will defer the questions to uh, the panel debate after our break. Thank you. <laughs>